Man, I am feeling good today. I actually, I'm, I recently had to take a trip to the emergency room. Yeah, I had some weird kind of stomach virus thing. I actually, I, I contemplated calling an ambulance for myself. That's weird, right? I mean, you usually call ambulances for other people. Uh, what are you supposed to say for yourself? Something along the lines of, can you come get me? Yeah, I, I don't feel too good. Oh no, you can just come on in, I'll be lying on the floor. Thanks. Look, I had no idea how to do it, and it was late at night, so I just kind of drove myself to the emergency room. It's a nice relaxing drive. It went something like this. Hi, I'm so sorry. Um, can I go? I think I'm going to die. You're dying too? Well, after you. No, no, please, I insist. Merge, everybody, merge. I'm only imploding. So I finally pull up to the emergency room, I park my car, and I, I go to check myself in. And you know, they ask the most insulting questions when you check into a hospital. Walk up to the front desk. The lady says to me, so what seems to be the problem? What seems? Uh, well, it seems to me as though everything on my inside would like to be on my outside. But I'm no doctor. I had to wait about 30 minutes before they checked me into my luxurious half room and another 30 minutes before my nurse finally makes her entrance. She walks in and the first thing she says is, Hi there, so how are you doing tonight? I mean, I'm on a gurney. If you could just give me a painkiller or something, I mean, this is, this is killing me. So she whips out her checklist and goes, Oh, okay, um, oh, how would you describe Right, your pain. Well, I mean, it's killing me. I don't know if you remember that part. Oh, ouch. Would you like a different word? Um, horrific, excruciating. Would rather have shards of glass in my eye. And now she starts to panic and she goes down the checklist and, okay, um, I'm so sorry. Um, how would you rate your pain? It's a rather peculiar question. Um, four stars? Uh, two enthusiastic thumbs up? Uh, don't worry, she was actually intelligent enough to correct me. <laughs> oh my gosh, no silly! How would you rate your pain on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the worst? Well, you know, saying a low number isn't going to help you. Imagine just being like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a two, uh, maybe a high one. If you could get me a baby aspirin and cut that in half, I'll be out of your hair. You can go and tend to all the threes and fours and such. If anyone's actually saying such ridiculous numbers. But I just, I, I couldn't quite bring myself to say ten, because I heard that the most painful thing a human can endure is getting their femur bone cracked in half. I have no idea if it's true, but I think it, if it is, they have exclusive rights to 10. So I thought, fine, I'll just say 9. I oh, know. Then I remembered childbirth. You don't want to compete with childbirth. And then that got me thinking, you know what must really be hell? Giving birth, but with your femur bone cracked in half. 